All right, the countdown is on. We're inside the launch window, and candidates are putting in the hard work to stand out and vie for your vote. Speaking with me today on his candidacy for Chula Vista Mayor is Council Member of Chula Vista, John McCann. John, oh, great to see you. It's been a while since we last chatted. Allow me to ask this. Well, first of all, are you, are you going to be glad this is over? I, you know what? I really love the people of Chula Vista. I love going out and talking to them. Uh, so compared to my opponents, I actually like being out there and campaigning. Excuse me for asking this question, but this is the last yeah. we haven't talked in a while. Uh, the hubbubaloo about residency and the private investigators and the back and forth and all that saga that was in the media and social media, has that hurt you or helped you, do you think? Well, I think it exposed the facts. Uh, but the first thing is, my wife and I grew up in Chula Vista. We've been married for 24 years, raising our kids in Chula Vista. We're fully invested in Chula Vista. The private investigator showed that my uh, opponent, who lived in East County, ran for Congress and failed several times, then used his cousin's address, but still lived in the city of San Diego in a multi-million dollar condo downtown. His post office box or his post um, uh, mailbox was there, Amazon deliveries were there, and for 32 days he was videotaped living there. But there was significant blowback. A lot of people thought, oh, come on, man, just, just keep it to the issues, and you think that's a significant issue. Well, you don't, I'm proud to live in Chula Vista. Why is somebody who wants to be mayor not proud to live there? And why do you want somebody who's going to go home away from the city of Chula Vista? And the law says that you have to live in Chula Vista to be the mayor of Chula Vista. I'm fully invested. And uh, again, my wife and I have, have raised Understood. our children there. You don't need a part-time mayor. I will be a full-time mayor in Chula Vista. The light, latest UT poll had you up. Do you put stock in that poll? Are you, do you feel like you're running ahead? And are we going to know tomorrow night, who the, at the end of the night, who the next mayor of Chula Vista is? I am hope tomorrow night we'll find out who it is. Um, you know, I'm always skeptical of any poll, but uh, at least it's positive news. Uh, we believe, because we have been there uh, for over 20 years, uh, being the pro-law enforcement candidate. That's why I'm endorsed by the Chula Vista police officers, uh, the San Diego police officers, and also I'm the fiscally responsible candidate. Uh, I'm the only candidate who has gone out and fought against the mileage tax, fought against increases in gas tax, and fights against increases in sales tax. And that's who you want to have. You want to have somebody who knows the position, has that experience, is going to be on the side of the city of Chula Vista. So what it's really going to come down to here in California, if, if we're like the rest of the nation where law enforcement issues seem to be stirring, uh, dare I say, a red wave, or is it going to be about more climate policies and things that appeal to California voters that they deem important? Isn't this race going to be decided on what the people think is most important for Chula Vista? Well, I think they do, and I've walked door to door talking to people. They want to get to common sense. I'm endorsed by Democrats, Republicans, Independents, and they all want the city to focus on the basics mission of the city, uh, filling potholes, Supporting our public safety, again, that's why I'm endorsed by the Chula Vista police officers. I've been elected five times in the city of Chula Vista, in the good times and the bad times, um, and we're hopeful that they want somebody with experience. I have a record of service. My opponent does has zero record of service in the city of Chula Vista. Even if you believe he, you know, is living at his cousin's uh, address, he has no record of service in the city of Chula Vista. But if he was sitting on my shoulder right now, he would jump on that comment and say, hey, you've been in the position of, of helping policy, forming policy, for the better part of two decades, and things are a mess. So why should we give you our vote if for 20 years things have gone so poorly? I think the opposite. He hasn't been here. He hasn't seen all the great things. Uh, under my leadership, we've become one of the safest cities in San Diego County. Ten years in a row, the new home community was East Lake, and I was part of the team that helped plan that and helped prove that in a $1.2 billion new Bayfront project that I helped master plan and that we got approved and now is under construction with 4,000 new jobs was under my leadership. So if he thinks everything's so bad in the city of Chula Vista, he clearly isn't living there. All right, you got that camera? You got 20 seconds. Speak to your voters. 
please support and vote John McCann. Uh, go to johnmccann.com for more information. I'm from Chula Vista. I'm invested in Chula Vista. Vote John McCann for mayor. Thank you. As a reminder, Mr. McCann is facing Amar Kampanajar in the race for Chula Vista mayor. That's a head-to-head -head showdown, and uh, we'll be uh, covering it all here tomorrow night on KUSI. I,